I think the brain of the future will be enhanced. We are seeing the emergence of a lot of technologies, not only in terms of brain computer interfaces, but also uh, technologies such as augmented reality and virtual reality. And I think over time, these technologies are gonna become more and more integrated with our everyday life. Uh, and that means that there will be a lot more information that we can access at our fingertips. Uh, and potentially we'll be also receiving a lot more feedback about our own uh, physiological signals, our own uh, brain signals, and that in theory could help us uh, regulate our behaviors uh, a lot better. Uh, so there's different types of brain scans that we can take. Uh, we can look at measures of brain structure, measures of brain function, uh, measures of brain chemistry. Uh, the most common uh, way of scanning the brain is to use a, a scanner called a magnetic resonance imaging machine or an MRI. And these scans uh, take advantage or, or look at the way uh, atoms behave in the brain when they're placed in a large magnetic field and because concentrations of certain types of atoms in particular hydrogen vary in different parts of the brain we can uh, measure the signals they give off when they're placed in this magnetic field and this allows us to reconstruct the images that we use for analysis. I think uh, brain mapping offers a lot of possibilities for just trying to understand what's going on in our brains. Uh, and this is, this is a very new technology. We've really only had strong brain mapping techniques for the last uh, 30 or so years. So uh, it's been only, at least in living humans, so it's been only a short window of time in which we've been able to look in living humans and try to get some insights into what's actually happening in their brains. So not only does this allow us to understand uh, how the brain thinks about the world around it, uh, but it also helps us to understand what's going on in brain disorders. So uh, what are the areas that are involved in Alzheimer's disease or uh, what are the brain changes that are occurring in mental illnesses such as depression and schizophrenia? And so these maps really allow us to identify these problems and once we identify them, hopefully we can develop more targeted treatments. I think uh, in the next 10 years we're going to see a lot of developments in understanding the molecular uh, mechanisms underlying brain function. So we're going to get a lot more high resolution data on uh, different cell types in the brain the different uh, patterns of gene expression and how those patterns of gene expression relate to differences in function. And uh, you piecing all of this fine-grained information together will help to give us a more comprehensive picture of how different cell types in the brain uh, uh, function and how they give rise to uh, complicated behaviors.